Today I'm going to do a quick video for you on our MyLocator 3 app, so let's get into it. The MyLocator 3 app is going to allow you to update your VLOC3 series of receivers. This is especially important on our RTK model as we're regularly releasing new features and updates that's going to improve your workflow. You can download the MyLocator 3 app from our website. The link is down below, but it's vvax-metrotech.com. So let's get into how we do that now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab the USB cable that is supplied with the receiver. It comes in a little silver pouch somewhere in the bag. Go ahead and open up the battery door. Just below the battery is the port that we plug into that will connect us to our computer. Go ahead and plug that in and here we go. So the first question that it may ask you when you start up the MyLocator 3 application is if you want to update the software version for that application. Mine happens to be 1.18 and I'm up to date right now. If it was an older version, it may ask me to update and ask the question, do you want to do that? You'd have to install the new version. Now I've turned my receiver on and that also has a current version of the software, which at this point happens to be 1.35. Again, if the software needed to be updated in my receiver, it would just say, would you like to update the software? I highly recommend you do that because it will get you the latest features that we have for the receiver. The first tab here that we're going to get into is our main tab. We really don't need to modify anything on this other than if it's an RTK, I highly suggest you select the new survey prompt. The second tab down is the main tab that we're going to get into that's going to allow you to modify any of the features and menu functions in your actual receiver. So I'm not going to run through exactly turning stuff off and on, but I can show you here quickly in my classic locate mode, I've got everything turned on in my menu. And then what I actually have turned on on my locate screen is I've got omnidirectional peak and I've got peak with arrows turned on. Now, if I didn't want to have any of these functions in the actual menu button, I could go ahead and uncheck these. I could uncheck null, I could uncheck broad, I could uncheck delta null, and I could uncheck omnidirectional broad. This now, when I go up here and hit right the locator configuration, this is going to send this to my locator, and that's now what is going to be installed in my actual receiver. So because I unchecked that on these boxes right here, I no longer have that as an availability on my menu screen. So keep that in mind. When you take stuff out of this where it says on menu, you're taking it out of your menu screen and it's no longer in there. So let's move on. The next tab down is our frequencies. This column here is what's going to be turned on in our menu. So this is what we can scroll through when we jump into that menu screen. On the function key, these over here is what I have checked for my actual function key. Again, we can turn these off and on simply by clicking and unclicking. So this will allow us to turn off and on the frequencies that we want to be able to use. Again, if you feel that this is a little bit too much in your menu screen, you can uncheck the ones from here that you're not going to be using, but just keep in mind, you will have to come back to the My Locator 3 app if you ever want to turn them back on again. Next tab down is going to be what we call a splash screen. So this is what you're going to see when you first turn on the receiver. So if you'd like to load your own company picture or return to or something like that, you can go ahead and load that into the screen and it will come up when you turn the receiver on. So the next tab down, you're only going to have this on an RTK model. This is where we enter what our cellular network is. And if we are using an RTK correction signal, this is where you enter that correcting signal down here. So the next tab down is also exclusive to the RTK, which happens to do with our feature logging. This is what we're going to name points as we're taking them when we go through. And I do have another video on that. If you'd like it, please reach out and I can send you the video on how to do feature codes. The next tab down here on the bottom, this is refers to our data logging. So this is how you can actually take out information from your receiver if you're not connected through Bluetooth or through a cell card to the cloud. 
And again, the very last tab, we're back at the main screen. This is what comes up to tell us our software version and our MyLocator 3 version. So whenever you make any changes, just make sure you go up to the right, the locator configuration up the top here, and that will send what you've done to the receiver. It won't pop up on the receiver until you hit restart. Now, if you want to save that or read the configuration that's in the receiver, I can hit the read button. So I can go ahead and save this configuration. I can call it Jeremy's RTK because this is how I like my RTK configured. So now I've saved that. So if I ever want to bring up that application, let's say I get a different RTK model and want to load it, this configuration onto it, I simply go to my little file folder up here, click open, click on the file that I want to use, hit open here, and now what I'm going to do is hit right to the locator. As soon as that's done, I can shut off my receiver, restart the unit, and those features will be there stored in my locator. So there was a quick run through on our My Locator 3 application. If you'd like more information about this software, please reach out to your local distributor and they'd be happy to go through that with you. And please hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date on all of our current videos that we're putting out. Thanks very much and take care.